as you know, we are the University of the Fourth Industrial Revolution, and uh, this is really uh, for IR in action, so it's well aligned with our mission. And at the same time, we don't just want innovation, but we want innovation that impacts on life, that leads to sustainable development. And this is a clear example of that, um, you know, research and research outcomes that are innovative and that impact on, on the lives of ordinary people. Yeah, 3D printing is really one of those technologies that are uh, you know the technology to have and us as a university to be doing this you know we're showing the way as a university to the private sector and to all the partners to say come work with us here is the technology obviously we should not be afraid of it there will be some challenges like unemployment but then we have to strengthen our reskilling uh, uh, and skilling uh, initiatives to ensure that those that are affected those that lose jobs through this technology uh, get employed and um, to answer you this is also an opportunity to show that, you know, in a, in a partnership approach, you know, we can achieve a lot because UJ is not doing this alone. We work with uh, the Department of Science uh, and Innovation. We work with, um, you know, Human Settlement. And there are other uh, private uh, role players that are involved in, in this project. So, yeah, it's also an indication to others that if you initiate this type of things, you know, and partner with people, then you can have meaningful impact. Well, the challenge that we have is how do we balance this with the reality that we are talking about. The need to ensure that the construction sector gets back to its feet. But this is, doesn't pose a threat to the construction sector. In, in fact, it provides possibilities for the, for the construction sector to be able to build faster and actually move faster. Because remember, this doesn't take away all the jobs. It's just the walls that this built. Okay, that's important. But we are still going to need people who are actually going to do the foundation, the roofing, the windows, and, and every other thing. So for the construction sector, it's an opportunity. And it's better that we begin to experiment with that now. So that also we balance against, as I say, the very important imperative of job creation. The University of Johannesburg was responsible right, for the procurement of the 3D printer and for the research uh, that is involved in actually a, a, a testing the materials and ensuring then that we print uh, the house that you are seeing behind me. The interesting thing is that uh, this technology here, you are capable of printing a house in eight hours. Here I'm assuming then that the foundation has been done and all you need to do is to actually put up the, uh, the top structure. So if you're going to put up the top structure, it takes you about eight hours. The quality is excellent and uh, the product is cost effective. The project is important because uh, of the vision of the university. The vision of the university is to be an international university of choice anchored in Africa and dynamically shaping the future. And what we mean by that, uh, anchored in Africa, we are talking to us being able to solve local problems. So the issue of housing, it is um, a challenge in the country and uh, we see this project as uh, uh, using fourth industrial revolution and also solving problems that are in the country. Now, the collaboration between the University of Johannesburg, the Department of Human Settlements and the Department of Science Innovation is a long journey. We've been working together for over 10 years. We started with a memorandum of incorporation in order to see how we can benefit as the human settlement sector with the Department of Science and Innovation. So the University of Johannesburg offered the academic space. So with academia and the Department of Science Innovation and the key department for housing, the Department of Human Settlements, we formed that tripartite agreement and therefore were able to become more scientific. And this is where we have now broken even. Because now with academia coming very strongly, we can now go into the market with tested products and therefore build faster, more accurately and smarter. I'm a master's UJ student. I'm measuring in a energy efficiency of a 3D printer. Okay, so this this project has been like an exciting uh, journey for us. And then uh, the drive here is to make sure that we we promote the uh, fourth industrial revolution and to ensure that we build RDP using our new technology. 
So, um, if I would take you through, so we have four units of this of this uh, of this machine. We have the controller, we have the robot, we have the pump system, and then we also have the keys are there. So how this works? We heat up the water, get into the pump system, and then basically the robot does nothing but to make sure that it prints. It gives the the the, the motor the coordinates where it should print. So everything is done through software. So we build models of wall element, and then from there. Um, we get the code that is printable, we slice it on our laptop, send it to the robot so it's readable and then from there the robot can know where to pour the motor. So how, that's how the technology works. Well, this is a new technology. Um, it's at its infant stages and uh, there are just a um, few countries in the world that have uh, adopted this technology. And in many other parts of the world, they're still conducting research in the technology. As we are doing here at UJ, we are still conducting research. There are quite a number of areas that we have seen that we would want uh, you know, to conduct research in. So we are confident that uh, the technology can be you know, uh, adopted uh, within the industry. Currently, I would say one big issue that um, might you know, um, delay the adoption of the project in, um, in the industry is the material that we use for this technology. You know, at the moment, we are still importing material, um, but UJ is working on day-to-day, -day, conducting research in terms of developing our local material. We are developing our own material, and I can tell you now, we are, I would say, 60-70% in terms of developing our own material. Um, because until we solve that uh, material issue, I believe this technology will be taken with speed within the industry. But that is just one big barrier at the moment in terms of uh, adoption of the technology within the industry. The University of Johannesburg, the future reimagined.